and that's to do that with this amount of money. You've got 10 grand. Mm -hmm. Don't lose it, Elaine. No. Uh, if you went for the next question and gave me a wrong answer, you would lose 9,000 or 10,000 you have at this moment. But you've still got a 50 50, and the next question could double your money. Have a look at this. Question number six is worth £20,000. Here it comes. The name Rodolphe Lint is most associated with which product? Bread, chocolate, mayonnaise, breakfast cereal. Why are you grinning? Because I eat a lot of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's chocolate, because it's the gold bunny rabbit is lint. And I only, for, like, testing purposes, eat a lot of it. But for no other reason you than what? that. Well, I don't want Seb to eat too much, so I test it for him. That's lovely, <laughs> Mummy. Yeah. Yes. And I did eat a whole head off a lint rabbit once, and I wrapped it all back up and put it in back in his egg. <laughs> <laughs> and told him it was faulty. <laughs> Elaine. I know. Uh. Um, well, now, it's up to you. You've it's got £10,000. It's chocolate. Do you Final think you're about answer. to win £20,000? I have to buy lots of chocolate. Yes. It's the right answer. You have got £20,000. <laughs> so, now, listen. This is getting a bit serious. Mm -hmm. You were struggling at 500 quid. And you could well have gone away on the very first question with nothing. Um, but you are now on £20,000 and you are probably playing for £50,000 if you want to. Mm -hmm. Do not lose this money, Elaine. Yeah. You would drop 19 grand here if you gave me a wrong answer. You could use the 50-50 and still walk away with £20,000. Have a look at this question. Tell me what you want to do. The ank, shaped like a cross with a loop on top, was a symbol of life in which civilization? Aztec, Byzantine, Spartan, Egyptian. Can I take 50 50, please? You can. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Elaine the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. You see, I can see, like, hieroglyphics in caves, and I can see the cross with the loop on it, and I'm thinking, was that in Egypt, or is that to do with the Aztecs? I think it's Egyptian. But I would lose a lot of money, wouldn't I? You'd lose 19,000. The ank, shaped like a cross with a loop on top, was a symbol of life in which civilization? Aztec or Egyptian? One of those is worth £50,000. One of those would cost you £19,000. If you play it, you don't have to play. I think I'd better take the 20000 because if I lost nineteen, I wouldn't be able to go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I really think it's Egyptian and... And something's telling me if I got to 15, that would be fantastic. I'm going to take the money. Or am I? <laughs> I really want to say Egyptian. £1,000, £20,000, or £50,000. Oh, shaped like a cross with a loop on top as a symbol of life. I think it's Egyptian. I'm going to take the money, Chris. Final answer. OK. Once you said final answer, you know there's no going back. Yeah. OK, give her a big hand. Elaine James goes away with £20,000. Now, Elaine, 
You're oh. going home with... Just watch my lips. Yes, you've been here about three and a half minutes. <laughs> At this moment, you've been working financially about as fast as David Beckham. <laughs> you've got £20,000, uh. so you can have no regrets. Mm -hmm. I will tell you the right answer was Egyptian. You can have no regrets. I know. That's it's why fine. I told you that. Yes. Right, give her a big hand. She goes away with £20,000. <laughs> Right, we have eight contestants left, hoping to be next to face our ever-quizzical computer. Right, here is their next fastest finger first question. Nice and quiet, please, as always, in the audience. Right, here it comes. Put these items in the order they would normally be consumed at dinner. Coffee, dessert, start a main course. Right, that really does look pretty straightforward, but uh, they've got to do it at speed, of course, and against each other. So let's see, this is the right order. Uh, have your starter, uh, then you have your main course, then you have your dessert, and then you have your coffee. Um, right, so that's the right order. Did eight get it right? I'm not sure eight got it right. Let's see, these got it correct. Not all of them at all. Fastest was Maggie Shepherd in 2.58 seconds. Look at you looking terribly pleased with yourself. You thought you weren't going to get on, didn't you? Yeah. You thought you'd run out of time. Now, do you want to play for a million pounds? Yeah. Of course you do. Good job. Next up is Maggie Shepherd from Walton on Thames in Surrey. Having failed in her dream of becoming a spice girl, <laughs> Maggie worked her way up to being a director of a direct marketing company. She has a nine year old son called Samuel, who Maggie says would have made a perfect phone a friend, provided all the questions were on Doctor Who. Sort of a Doctor <laughs> Who night. Uh, it's Frank Caron who's had her head on specially to be in the supporter's seat this evening. Maggie herself is a qualified football referee. She's also a fanatical Chelsea supporter. So a decent win on the show would mean season tickets for both her and Samuel. Right, serious business. Twelve questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds. Maggie, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK. Question number one is for £500. It's this. The title Frau is most associated with which country? France, Poland, Germany, Italy. It's Germany. It's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> Right, question number two would guarantee you going back to Walton on Thames with at least £1,000. It is the last point, Maggie, at which you could go home with nothing. I'm sure you won't. You have all three lifelines. This question number two of a possible 12. The name of which character from ancient literature now refers to a trusted advisor? Hector, Achilles, Mentor, Orestes. <clears throat> Mental. Are you sure? Yes. Final answer. Absolutely. You've just won £1,000. <laughs> How are you feeling then, Maggie? Oh, so much better. <laughs> <laughs> she may look calm. I tell you what, standing there, you were absolutely terrified. Absolutely. Weren't you? Right, question number three is for £2,000. Okay. Four of the eight Ivy League universities are situated in which part of the United States? Rocky Mountains, New England, Pacific Coast, Prairies. <clears throat> That's for £2,000. You had three lifelines. And I have no idea at all. Why are you grinning? Oh, because I don't know. Um, I, I, I've got an idea, but I don't know for certain, so I'm going to have to use a lifeline. And I'm tempted to phone a friend, 
Um, and I'm not sure which one. Um, I'm going to phone Julian. Julian? Julian. He's a car salesman <laughs> and he's my friend's husband. And he's, he's a car salesman, he's <laughs> your friend's husband. Well, he yeah. sounds an ideal choice then. He's perfect. <laughs> Julian? Yes. Chris Tarrant, how are you? Oh, hello. <laughs> OK, well, now, listen, you know what we're doing. We're right in the middle of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We've got Maggie on. She's stuck on a particular question for a couple of thousand pounds. She says you'll probably know because you're full of all sorts of knowledge. <laughs> I hope it's the right knowledge. Well, so do we. All right, mate, right, next voice will be Maggie's. She'll tell you a question. There are still four possible answers. OK? OK. All right, Maggie, fingers crossed, darling. You've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Julian, Hi, four, four of the eight Ivy League universities are situated in which part of the United States? The Rocky Mountains, New England, Pacific Coast or Prairies? Uh, was one of them New England? Yes. Right, I know that in New England, I know that you've got Yale, you've got Harvard. I would say New England. I'm 75% sure about that. That's great. All right. Thanks, Julian. Good luck, love. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Well, I'd figure there probably weren't, wouldn't be too many universities on the prairies or possibly in the mountains, so I was leaning towards New England as well. So I'm going to go for New England. Final answer? Yes. It's the right answer, you got £2,000. <laughs> Have a look at question number four for £5,000. Here it comes. In France, what is most likely to be bought in a charcuterie? Meat, bread, vegetables, cakes. How's your French? It's... it's reasonable. Well, we shall see, won't we? We are about to find out. Um, cakes, I think, is a patisserie. Bread, I think, is a boulangerie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to ask the audience. It's OK, they're OK. Yes. <laughs> on, right. That's what they're there for. Yeah. Right, audience, here's your question. It's worth £5,000. In France, what is most likely to be bought in a charcuterie? Now, A on your keypad is meat, B is bread, C is vegetables, D is cakes. All vote now. Uh, 82% say meat, 2% bread, 14 vegetables, 2% cakes. And you're going to say to me, I was going to say meat, Chris. <laughs> I was going to say meat, Chris. Still can. I'm going to say meat, Yes. Final answer. Yes, my final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £5,000. Thank you. <laughs> Recall the past, hope for the best, because on Timeline, time is... Money. Timeline, a brand new game show with Brian Connolly, continues this Thursday at 9, exclusively on Challenge.